Futurama almost planned something huge in development that would have gutted the show. Let me explain. Futurama's concept and development had several differences from what ended up being the finished result of the show, as is the case with every show ever made. These differences are typically changes in characters, such as Tina Belcher being changed from a boy to a girl, changes in setting, like how in regular show how the cast was originally supposed to work in a zoo, or changes in status quo, similar to how the producers of the show Spongebob urged the creator to make the character seem younger, so they had him in enrolled in boating school. Some of these changes come across because executives feel as though a show would be too niche or too weird to catch on. For example, The Amazing World of Gumball, originally supposed to be about failed commercial mascots in school, learning how to be successful mascots, before the idea was scrapped and it became more reminiscent of a family sitcom. Most of the time changes are made because the creators simply want to take the show in a different creative direction. However, seldom do the creators remove an entire main character from the show, especially because they realized he would make the series fail. Meet Pocket Pal, the character that was originally supposed to be Fry's main sidekick. While Bender was still written as a character in the show, it's likely that he would have ended up being more of a side character, or had a rivalry with Pocket Pal. Pocket Pal's character design was used for a one-off joke in the Futurama movie, Beast with a Billion Backs. He was never later fleshed out. The original plan for the show was to give Fry a tiny pocket-sized robot that would give him information and help him navigate the future. On the Geek's Guide to the Galaxy podcast, David X. Cohen, the co-creator of Futurama, discusses it further. I'll have a link to the full hour-long interview in the description. So Matt had a couple of them already, even when he asked me to join him. He had Fry and Leela and uh, Zap Brannigan and Kiff already for our Futurama fans out there. We then created Bender and Zoidberg and most of the other ones. But we kept going. We had uh, Nibbler and we even invented this character called Pocket Pal who was this tiny little robot, and the idea was he was about six inches high, and he was going to ride around in Fry's pocket and explain the world of the future to Fry, because we thought, oh, people are going to be so confused that he's going to need this guide to show him around. It's a great decision that they ended up scrapping this character. That may be a hot take, so I'm going to back it up. I'll use two examples from the pilot episode alone to explain why. Part of the brilliance of the first episode is getting to watch Fry explore the future and learn for ourselves how things work. When Fry is running around and comes across a new transportation method in New New York City, we get to see him sucked in and figure out how it works. Imagine if Fry had a pocket pal with him, and the scene went like this. Hey, what's that? That is an air tube, a new form of citywide transportation. It popped up in 2349 in response to the Toyota Automotive Uprising and subsequent decade-long war that followed. When you enter, its powerful air currents will take you to your destination in just a matter of minutes. Neat. While you have more room for quips with a character like this, some issues arise. Not only would that have been less fun than seeing Fry delve into the machine with no knowledge, but the scene would have taken way longer. Now let's take a look at a more iconic scene from the episode. Bender! Help! What's happening? In the year 2008, euthanasia became legal voluntarily, shortly followed by its involuntary legalization. In 2032, in turn, many suicide booths popped up, offering people the chance to end their lives cheaply and quickly. This example would directly pause the action of the scene and make for a worse scene overall. If this character were to have been a main character, there likely would have been dozens of interruptions like this throughout every single episode. That would have added up to minutes of screen time every episode. Since studios hold time limits on how long episodes have to be, typically around 22 minutes, this would have taken time from other characters. Fry and Leela, but mostly Bender, since the two characters were most competitive and similar in concept. The realization that Matt Groening and David X. Cohen made was that, to quote David X. Cohen, that's one of those lessons we learned, that people don't want to lecture on how the future works. They just want to see what's happening. We rapidly stopped explaining things to Fry, even though he was our man in the future. From our time, we started thinking of him as another character, who was just a dumb guy, rather than someone who knew nothing about the future. The character of Pocket Pal went directly against the golden rule of film and television. Show, don't tell. Instead of having a character explain to Fry that the common meals of the future were dehydrated foods that would turn into a slough when mixed with liquid, it worked way better seeing the product eaten and advertised on billboards. Having everything be explained to the viewer, instead of letting them figure things out on their own, wouldn't have boded well for the show, especially considering how good of a job the staff did with world building, introducing these concepts to us while respecting the viewer's intelligence. With all this in mind, Mind, I don't regret not being able to get to know this character. If you like this video, then you'll likely like my other video about Futurama. That's right, video singular. I plan on doing more in the near future. See you there.